Okay, all right everyone, welcome in to the very first body balance. Let me make sure you can see my mat here. I'm gonna set this up so you can, hopefully. All right, so welcome to the first body balance. These are going to be a set of 30 minute workouts where we do lots of core strengthening and stability. So it's gonna help you with the stability, both in all of your body, using that core as like that trunk to keep you still and keep you strong. We need it during climbing, we need it during lifting, we need it during working out. Hopefully you like these type of workouts. It's going to be relatively full body, but mainly core. So if you're ready, we are, I'm gonna turn up the music. We're gonna do intervals of 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and you're gonna follow along, we're gonna go through 25 minutes. First one, if you're ready, you can set your clock, get your little workout in here. I always try to remind everyone to do that. It's been a bad habit of not doing it myself. And we'll get started, all right? So we're gonna start standing. We're gonna start getting our body pumping and our heart rate up so we can have a nice elevated heart rate during our workouts with high knees, all right? Ready? And here we go. Three, two, one. One, high knees. So we're gonna bring these up. If you're in an apartment, you can always keep it lower or just bring those knees up and try to soft land. And we're gonna get high knees up. And our, if you can't do this, you can always run in place. All right, and get that heart rate up. So we can get that heart pumping, nice warm up before our workout. Here we go, come on. Push it out. Get that heart rate up, open those lungs. You only have 15 seconds left. High knees here, you wanna make sure your core is nice and tight, keeping nice and still when you're pulling those knees up. Let's go, come on. Only five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, woo! All right, let me turn this up. We're gonna stand here for a nice twist. We are going to stand still. And we're gonna get a nice twist and toe touch in to warm up. Two, one. So we're gonna go twist, twist, touch your toe. Twist, twist, touch your toe. Come on, get that in. You gotta really warm up these muscles at the same time as using them. Touching that toe to try to pick up the pace here. Now that you have it, really using those muscles to really force yourself to twist back and forth and then bring that foot up. Twist, 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 twist. Come on, you got it. Try to pick up the pace. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna get into some abs. We're gonna stand with our hands up and we're gonna go knee to elbows. One leg, pick one leg you like. Three, two, one, and go. One leg to the elbow and then to the opposite elbow. So the elbow crunching to the opposite elbow. Here you wanna use your abs to crunch in to that elbow and the opposite elbow. That was weird. That's never happened during my workout before. <laughs> elbow, opposite elbow, elbow. Opposite elbow, you got it. You can always, if you can't get all the way up, you can bring your hands in. That's fine too. Should really feel it and that, try not to feel it in the hip, try to feel it in your core. And core, thinking about crunching, bringing that knee up both times. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, stretch it out, we're gonna do the other leg. Ready? really feeling it in that hip flexor. Try to really feel it in that core more. Focus on it. In five, four, three, two, one. Up to the elbow, up to the other elbow. Or bring just hands here and crunch in. Come on, you got it. Squeezing that core on the up. I can look mighty awkward doing this. I'm sure you look less awkward. <laughs> Come on, push it out. There we go. Squeeze, breathe. Come on, push. Breathe. You've got this. All right, you only have 10 seconds left. Push it out. If you have to, remember, squeeze. You can bring your elbows lower. 
if you're trying to squeeze with your abs more. That's all right. Two, one, woo, stretch out those hips. We're gonna use our back and our abs this time. You can hold a pillow or pretend you're holding a ball. We're gonna do chops. Pick one side. Get those knees nice and bent like an athletic position and go. We're gonna come top to bottom. Up and down to that toe. Up and down. Chop it. Like you're bringing, you can even hold a pillow if you need to big hold something. Up and then down to the outside of that foot. Think about bringing whatever you have in your hand up to the side and then all the way to the outside of that foot. You're really gonna feel this in your obliques tomorrow. You got it. Keep those legs nice and athletic stance bent. Up and back. And up and back. You got it. Five seconds left. Woo! Push. You can always hold the weight here if you want. Two, one. Woo! Other side. Get ready for it now. You've got the move in. Athletic stance. You can even squat down if you want. Makes it tougher. Four, three, two, one. Up to the other side and down to the other side of that knee. Up and down. Using that body to twist you rather than your hands to move you. So you're using your core to twist. Up and down. Come on. If you want it harder, you can stay lower. Up and down. Up and down. Come on. Breathe. Try to, if you want to try to make it tougher, you can also make it more dynamic. So as fast as you can and then a hard stop at the top and at the bottom. So we have five seconds left. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're going to do a couple more standing ones and we're down to the ground. In five seconds, we're going to get our hands up. And we're gonna twist and crunch. All right, ready? So we're gonna twist, twist, crunch. Twist, twist, crunch. And if you wanna make it harder, instead of doing three twists, you can just come to the side and crunch. And crunch up, okay? We're gonna go one, two, three, and crunch. Really crunching with those abs. One, two, three, crunch. If you wanna make it tough, one side crunch. One side, crunch. Dynamic movement, over, crunch. Come on. You got it. You only have a few seconds left. Come on, guys. Make it worth it. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Shake it out. We're gonna move into some balancing ones and then really get that core. So we're gonna do one leg deadlifts or pistol progressions. Ready? I'll start with the easier one. Two, pick one leg. We're gonna come straight down, try to touch the ground, come straight back up. If you can't do this, keep that back nice and straight, you can always drag your foot. If you wanna make it harder, you can come down into a pistol squat and back up. Down into a pistol squat, tap your fingers on the ground and back up. You really gotta keep your core tight to stay still and keep that glute engaged. One leg only, come on. If you wanna do something in between those two, you can try the pistol squat, dragging your toe on the ground and dragging it back. You're still using that one leg to push you up and down and squeezing those abs. All right, Woo. we're gonna go to the other leg. Here we go. Again, the easiest move or the lowest mod Again, straight down with your balance and back up. Straight down with your balance and back up. If you want it a little harder, you can squat down and drag that toe all the way down, back up. Or pistols all the way down, back up. You're touching the ground. Come on, push it. If you're doing these and you get tired, you can always go to the next mod, but keep moving. Don't stop. You drag your foot or go back all the way to these. Come on, you only have a few seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, guys, let's 
Let's get some jumps in. Let's get that heart rate up before we go down to the ground. You ready? Here we go. In five seconds, we're going to do some foot switches. Forward, back, outside, in. Ready? And go. Forward, back, outside, in. Forward, back, outside, in. All right? So faster. Forward, back, outside, in. Faster. Keep going. Forward, back, outside, in. Forward, back, outside, in. You got it. Faster. Once you got it, pick up the pace. Really using those legs, really using those abs, pulling it through. Keep breathing. Come on. Push it out. Keeping that focus. Keeping still. Let's go. You only need a few seconds left. Come on. Push, and then we're down to the ground. You can always go forward back if you can't get the outside in, and then switch to the outside in. Woo! All right, nice job. Let's lay on the ground. Let's get some core in, guys. You ready? Nice leg. We're gonna lay down in a crunch position. Three, two, one. We're gonna come in for a crunch and kick all the way out. Come in for a crunch and kick all the way out, keeping that lower back on the ground. If you can, try to keep your legs and your hands off the ground and then come back in. If you can't do this and can't come back in, you can always crunch and then try to lift your legs. Crunch, try to lift your legs, all right? If not, try to come all the way in and all the way out. All the way in, all the way out. Oof, 10, come on, push it. Keep that lower back on the ground, five.
after all the moves we have. Let's go, come on. If not, I want you to really stress that core. Really want you to focus and work hard instead of just get through the moves. Two, one, other side, come on. Up, nice straight plank, remember. Pushing through, it's all about isolating. You can get through these moves without getting a great core workout if you're not isolated. You've got to focus and isolate here. So come on, push and up and through and up if you can. Come on, if not, you're holding in side plank as long as you possibly can. Focus, squeeze, stay nice and tight. 10 seconds, come on. Up and through and up and through. Four. Three, two, one. Woo! Tiring. All right. Lay on her back. We're going to get some leg lowers in. If you want to get your hands under your bum, we're going to go two, one. Holding your feet a little further back in your hips to engage that core. You're going to lower one foot at a time and then switch it with the other. Making sure both feet are forward of the hips, not right above, so your core is engaged. And that lower back is pressed into the ground all the way. That's what engages your core. If you can do this and you want it a little tougher, you can come one side, the leg bend is up, bring your elbow over to that knee when you lower it. Keeping that core engaged, really tough. You only have five seconds left, come on. Squeeze it out. If you're doing this isolating move, you should feel it burn. Two, one, woo! All right, stretch it out. We're gonna lay here on the ground. Extend those feet all the way out. Bring your hands up to the top of your head, and we're gonna do ab circles here. Two, one, go. Pick one way. We're gonna come up in a little circle with our shoulders. Try to get those shoulders off the ground and back around. Your whole focus is to get those shoulders up and off the ground. Keeping those legs straight in front of you. That back on the ground. Try to pick those shoulders up. In three seconds, we're gonna switch directions. Two, one, switch directions. Woo! We should start burning. Really try to get those shoulders up off the ground on that circle. Here we go. Come on, 10 seconds, keep going. Woo! Push it out, squeezing those abs all the way. Shoulders off the ground. Three, two, one. Woo! Extend out. Oh my goodness. All right. We're coming up. We've been on the ground too long. We're going to come up and do some high knees for one set. And we're going to get back on the ground. Ready? Two, one. Let's raise that heart rate. Come on. Pick it up. Okay. Let's go. Push, push as fast as you can. Get those knees up. If you're in an apartment, you can always just jog slowly or get your high knees lightly or you can always bring them up. It looks a little more awkward, but if you're trying to make less noise, you can run in place, whatever gets your heart rate up. Let's go, come on. Pushing. 15 seconds left, come on. You're tired now, but I want you to push through that. We're getting back on the ground after this, come on. Woo. Push, push. I promise after this next one, I'll have you laying on the ground. Get a little rest. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're gonna do one more plank move and then we get to lay on our stomach. So, lucky you, ready? Five seconds. Calm your breath here. We're gonna get up into plank in two, one. Press up into plank. A great plank is pressing down with your hands as hard as you can and back with your heels and your legs as hard as you can. That forces you into a good position. Now, if you're ready, we're gonna bring one leg out, tap it on the ground, bring it back. One leg up, tap it on the ground, bring it back. Just tapping it. You can take those glutes, staying really still in that plank. See how my body's staying super still? That's the goal. I'll show you from the front. My body stays super still here. I'm in a plank, as still as I can, and come on back. My whole body stays still except for my lower body there. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! 
All right, get to lay on our stomach, the best part, right? When you do abs, you always have to do back or you get lower back issues. You're gonna do isolated supermans. So hands up, we're only gonna do our upper body. Ready, go. Squeezing up and back down. Keep everything from your hips and below completely dead. Just laying there, only squeezing your back and the front of your body up. If your lower body is coming up too, focus on keeping it as still as possible. Try to deaden those muscles so it's only your upper body. This helps you with making sure you not only have stability, but you have body control. If your lower body is coming up too, tell yourself you got it. Relax those muscles. Just try to do the movements by relaxing your glute muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but with our lower body. We're gonna keep that upper body dead. So the best thing to do is lay on your hands like you're asleep, like you're taking a nap. Ready? Three, two, one. Lower body up and back down. Try to keep that upper body as still as possible here. If you need to just let rest your hands down, your shoulders shouldn't move, your arms shouldn't move, your back shouldn't move. Even if you can barely lift your legs, just to do that, try to just use your glutes and your body and your legs. If your upper body's moving, think about just relaxing it, not letting it move, make it go dead. Come on, push it out. Thinking about making that upper body stay dead and the rest moving. Ready? You got five seconds left. Keep going. Squeezing on the up. Woo. Squeeze and down and rest. If you need to, you can come back into the child's pose. Loosen up that lower back. We're going to do full Superman. So that's upper and lower body. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Go, come to the top and squeeze as hard as you can and then back down. It's not about how high you can go, it's about how hard you're squeezing that lower back, like an accordion, pressing it in, squeezing it together, then relaxing, okay? Come on, squeeze and back. Squeeze those muscles as hard as you can together and back. Squeeze as hard as you can, hold it and back, come on. Squeezing at the top is the hardest part. Squeezing for as long as hard as you can, then relaxing. That's how you do these. You've got it. 10 seconds left. Come on. Squeeze it harder and harder each time. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, let's come on to our back. We're going to do a few more abs here. And we're done. Ready? Laying here. Coming into a crunch position. Two, one. With one leg and one arm, we're gonna go knee to elbow, come out, and then touch that toe. Other leg, knee to elbow, and come out, touch that toe. Come on, you've got this. Knee to elbow, toe touch. Try to get that shoulder off the ground each time. Every time you come up, try to get that shoulder off the ground. That's the hardest part. All the way. Toe touch. Come on, knee to elbow. Toe touch. You've got all of these oblique movements here. Come on, toe touch. Knee to elbow. Toe touch. Shoulder off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Last one, guys. We're gonna do a cool down movement for our lower back, but also a workout. So keep your hands behind your head. Your knees straight up. Ready? Two, one. We're gonna bring our knees from side to side, all the way down to one side, then all the way down to the other. This is a nice stretch movement. Pressing, if you want more of a workout than this and also lowering your back, you can put your feet all the way up and bring them down to the ground, all the way up, bring them down to the ground. Like windshield wipers, but coming up a little further to make it easier or you can get that lower back stretching, stretching those out. Last move, three, 10 seconds. Opening up those muscles, four, three, two, one. Woo, nice 
job, guys. All right, if you were isolating, hopefully that worked for you. If you couldn't really get the isolating movement so much and you got more of the balancing movements, that's good. That means you're really good at doing the ab workouts, but the stability part is what you need to work on. If you were good on everything, but you couldn't do the lateral movements, that's your body telling you what you need to work on the most. If it's the isolating movements, come on back. We're gonna get these harder and harder every week, the isolating movements. Also, you can check out that I mentioned before on Instagram or on YouTube for Coach Katie Fitness. I had 10 and 15 minute ab burns where we do really hard movements and really teach you how to do all those isolating movements. And then we have full body stabilizing ones too. So let me know what you like. I always love to hear. I appreciate you coming in and coming to this class and doing this exercise with me. And I'll see you guys for an even harder body balance workout next time. See ya.